Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace, and just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson, and get ready, we're about to begin. Today what we're going to do is we're going to go through a couple of hacks. Um, I got an email the other day asking me, because I do all the, the handyman stuff and the small stuff around the house, do those little handy hacks really work? You see, sometimes you see a video that's got 25 different handy hacks or something like that. And uh, today we're going to go through, um, we're going to go through one of them and see if it actually works. And it, it just might work for you. So today, uh, one of the hacks that I saw was putting a little pen light on your baseball cap so you have some sort of a light while it's dark out. Now, I don't wear baseball hats. I don't like baseball hats. I never did. I didn't like. I don't. I think don't think they have any style to them. So I tried it on the other hats that I have. So let's try it on the one that I wear most often, which is this one here. Okay, it's got some style to it. I like it. So in this particular case, I'm going to use a pen light, and just to show you that it, it actually goes on. So, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to attach it to the side of it. So if I'm working at night or the lights go out and I got to go to the breaker box, I have some sort of a light that goes to it. Now, in the hack itself, it says that um, you put it on the cap like this, put it on the cap like this, and then they used a paper clip like this, one of these big wedgy things. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to push it onto that and see if that works. It seems to, it seems to attach pretty well. So I'm going to put this on. I'm going to turn it on. I should probably let's let's turn it on. I'm going to I'm going to put this on, and I'm going to turn it on. There we go. And does it do the job? Yeah, I can look around and I can see that there. Uh, I can certainly see that the light is shining in front of me and that's that's pretty good now the only downside to this that I can see is when it's dark you have to search for your hat search for the light and search for the pin and search for the clip and then assemble it now it's never pitch black out there so I think you will probably be able to find it if you have everything in the same spot so the second hat we're gonna try this with is, and I'm going to keep the light turned on, is my cowboy hat. Now I'm going to take this, now I can't use the bigger clip because it's a, it's a thinner rim, so I'm going to try it with a smaller clip. So I'm going to put it on the side like that. I'm going to keep this, keep the light on so you can see, and I'm going to clip it on here, it's kind of a tight squeeze because of the, the distance. I got to really crank it open, but it does seem to work. Okay, so it's it's uh, some of the brim gets in the way, but every cowboy hat's a little bit different. Some of the brims are down a little bit further. Some of them are up a little bit higher, and you can adjust it to go either way. So this this hack seems to be working so far. But what if it's cold outside? What if you're saying to yourself, okay, it's it's winter. And what are we going to do if something happens and starts to get cold in the house? Well, let's try it with with a stocking cap. Let's see if it works with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, keep it on. I'm going to use the small clip again and see if this works 
with the stocking cap. And it appears to be working pretty decent because you can adjust the hat, you can adjust the light. Okay, so I can, I can still see everything seems to be okay. Yeah, in theory all of this works out pretty well. Um, if you're running around in the basement and you have this all clipped on and you're looking around and it's pitch black, it's going to suffice. It's going to do the job for you and I think it'll be okay. But, as would it be something that I would recommend? No, but there are a couple of different choices which I think just might do you a little bit better. Um, especially if you're, let's say if you wanted to use, if you wanted to use the pin light to go downstairs and, and look at the uh, circuit breaker and see why it snapped, then I think something like that's going to work out pretty well. But if you're a handyman and you've got, uh, you want to go under the sink, you want to go uh, in a dark spot, let's say in the garage when the lights are all out, that kind of thing, you're going to use something like this. You're going to plug this in, you can hang it on the ceiling, you've got extra light and you can and you can maneuver it around any way that you want. And if even if you're in a pinch and you're under the sink and you don't have any kind of lighting, um, I, I, know, I know people who have used the uh, white small bulb Christmas lights. Just grab a, a wad of that and then plug it in and crawl under the sink with it. And it does illuminate the entire area as well as rope light. So that works too. But my personal choice, and when we were going through and making our tool bags in the past, is the headlamp. I click it on wherever my head goes, it's there. It is adjustable. I can make it go down. I can make it go up. This particular one has got 400 lumens. The higher the lumens, the brighter the light. So, out of all of those, all of out of all of the light choices, this is my personal favorite. Do the pen light on the multiple hats actually physically work? Yes. Yes, they do work. They work fine. It's a nice little gimmicky thing, and I think I think you would be okay with it. Um, but my personal choice still would be the headlamp like this. I hope this was very helpful to you, and please, please, please subscribe and be safe out there.